Welcome everyone! You're trying to use the place devices next to each other feature to transfer the eSIM and it's just not working. On my iPhone to the left, there's meant to be an option that says transfer eSIM and it's just not appearing. So the first fix of many is we will need to first of all on both devices swipe down from the far right hand side of the screen to open control center and then we're going to look for this toggle here which has the Bluetooth in, so we'll long press. And the first thing, if your Bluetooth is off, you must tap to turn this one on. Both devices must have Bluetooth enabled. Both devices must be on Wi-Fi as well. Now, when we see the place devices next to each other, let's try tapping the back button and then transfer from nearby iPhone again. Now, for some people, the prompt will show up immediately. You're good to go. However, if it still doesn't show up, what we need to do is restart both devices. So to do a restart, just long press both power and volume down. So long press these two, release when you see the screen, slide the power off and just do this for both iPhones. And then whilst both of them are off, just press on the power button to turn them back on. The issue at hand is when you use that transfer from nearby iPhone screen, it will only send out a request to transfer the eSIM once. So if that request that was sent out glitched out, we have to restart our iPhone for that message to be sent out again. So let's wait for these to restart. And then after the restart, we're just gonna try again. And let's see if the prompt appears. That time it worked. Excellent. If it is still not working, what we need to do is go to our software update setting. So for example, the new iPhone Air 17 series, they released with iOS 26, but they released with a version that is bugged. And that bugged version may cause issues. So let's head into general, software update, and you can see there's already an update for iOS 26, even though this iPhone is zero days old. I just got it today. So you wanna update the software that you see here on both devices. So we'll just go into the software update on both phones. If there's no update available, don't worry about it. But if there is an update, I want you to update now. After the software update, restart both phones and then try the earlier steps, going into mobile service, going into add eSIM, doing all that stuff. And then the problem should be 100% fixed. Now, real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you find this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I helped you out, thanks. If I did not help you out, leave any questions, any concerns in the comment section. I will try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.